Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A two-year-old toddler has been shot dead and his father and another man injured in an ongoing gang warfare in sections of the inner city Kingston. Over the past weeks, there have been multiple shootings in the downtown Kingston area, which the police say involves gangs fighting for control. PNP President Portia Simpson Miller has warned members against speaking publicly about sensitive party matters. The party is being rocked by a scandal after a leaked report showed that senior party members collected money from donors for the general elections but did not hand over the funds to the party. The Medical Officer of Health for St. Anne, Dr. Deborah Ware, has confirmed five cases of the Zika virus in the parish among the 264 reports of suspected cases. The Zika virus has been linked to the microcephaly, a condition in which babies are born with abnormally small heads. Manchester architect 48-year-old Dion Elvey has been charged with several gang-related offences after he allegedly attempted to leave the island with the drugs hidden in the region of his groin. Elvey, who is from Bonita Crescent in the parish, has been charged with possession of dealing in, taking steps to export, and conspiracy to export ganja. In sports, several Jamaican athletes who participated at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games returned home today. Jamaica ended the Games in 16th position overall and third in the track and field medal table. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, expect isolated showers. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.